Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Detail Matters. On this episode, we'll unbox our November 2020 glove box while giving you some tips and tricks on how to keep your wheels on point. So let's get started. This month, we are gonna focus on getting your wheels up to par and protected. First, let me show you what I have in my wash bucket, my wheel wash bucket. So separate from my two wash bucket method, it's my third bucket that I use just on the tires, wheels, and wheel wells, sometimes on the exhaust tips or engine bay. So this is really my dirty, dirty bucket. So in here, I have my tire uh, brush, my little brush for the for the rim, soft. Um, you can get this through our member market. A thin wash mitt, and then a wheel finger wash wheel glove. Um, these are from Auto Fiber, and then my grit guard on the bottom of my wash bucket. Put about three gallons of water in here. I'm going to put some soap, probably about two to four ounces. I'm going to get my suds going. Hold your ears. Bam. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse thoroughly. Start from top to bottom, inside my wheel wells, then work my, my rubber, then work the wheels. Just get everything off that I can with just blasting with the power washer or if you have a hose at home. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, easy enough. First, bam, from Jack's Wax, we have their HD HD wheel and tire cleaner. So you can use this on tires and the wheels and the wheel wells. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is on. And I'm out of direct sunlight. The wheels are not warm or hot, so I can spray directly on there. The only thing they say, let me just point this out. I always test it first, of course, to make sure it doesn't leave any weird marks. But this product is not for use on polished aluminum, raw aluminum, and anodized wheels. So just keep that in mind. So first, I'm gonna get those wheel wells really good. Now I'm gonna work the tire itself. Now I'm gonna work the face of the wheel. These aren't too bad, so I don't have to use a lot. Make sure you're getting the lug nuts. Just get the caliper. And then in the barrels, in the barrels really well. Because remember, that's where a lot of that brake dust sits and can cause corrosion over time. Next, to add to my cleaning arsenal for wheels. We included for you our glove box wheel wooly. Bam. I don't know how we fit this in that box, but somehow it made it. I'm gonna put that in there. Get nice and sudsed up. I'm not gonna use that first though. I'm gonna go get my tire brush. And if you have room in here, you can go ahead and scrub if you want to go ahead and use the wheel wooly, you can do that too, cleaning. Just, I'm keeping my finger up here so I'm not banging up against the, uh, the paint on the wheel well. Just cleaning that really good. Okay, now if you did use that on there, I just recommend spraying it off with your hose, cleaning it. So now, let's grab the tire brush. If you feel that you need more help cleaning those, take the brush, spray your cleaner directly in the brush, and get back at it. Now, I'm going to go back to this. I always like to start inside out, top to bottom. 
So I'm really gonna get into those barrels of the wheel. Working back and forth. Checking, just like how you guys hear me tell you, check about your towels all the time, check your tools too. Sometimes tar can get stuck in there or track debris. You don't want to scratch these. One more lap. Okay, for the face, that um, you can use your wash mitt, that auto fiber wheel finger, or if you have one of these from our pass boxes or buy from the member market. Go ahead, clean all that. Now, oh, those lug nuts, lug nut holes. Really good that. This is like my normal upkeep for my wheels. For the winter time, once or twice a year before or after the winter here in the Midwest, I'll remove the wheels for clients or on my own cars and really get in there and clean everything. Because you could get at the calipers a little better. I could get at them right now with this on this uh, Ferrari California. Wash mitt. I'm gonna reach behind these spokes. Get all that brake dust out of there. Let's get this out of here. This out of here. Now, same thing as we did when we first rinsed them. Now we're just gonna thoroughly rinse all this stuff off. Again, wheel wells, top to bottom, tires, top to bottom, wheels inside out. So let's do that. That's it, easy enough. And if they're really bad, then just repeat the process. Go at it again. Now, I wanna dry these off. So typically, I'll do the wheels first before I work on the paint, just cause they take a little bit longer. I don't want the, the water sitting on there for long or the soap sitting on there for too long. So do one wheel at a time, go on to the next. Let's pretend that we did that. And now I'm gonna dry this off. So I like to use the Sidekick from MetroVac, they sell these. We just did a giveaway. We have a bunch of other giveaways coming up, so you subscribers will have a chance to win different ones. I am gonna go ahead and dry this off and really focus on making sure that I don't leave any water sitting in. Okay. So we included our glove box tire applicator. Love this thing. And for what I like to call your tire moisturizer, we have 303 Tire Balm and Protectant. This helps prevent dry, dry rot, they say. Um, you could do natural satin finish or you can do glossy. I'll show you how to do that here. Um, shake it up. Put some on there. This is the first pass with this tire applicator, so I'm gonna kind of work some of this in here just so the like we call priming the pad. Everything is on there. That's enough for now. Clean my hand. So from top to bottom. This is a no sling product. I hate when people put tire dressing, that's silicone base or something, and it just slings all over their side of the car. That's disgusting. I'm gonna work that. This has, just like when we we're cleaning the tires down below, make sure you get down there. Or move the car forward to make sure that when you're driving, everything else looks, pressure washer, everything else looks great, but then all of a sudden when it rolls this way, you missed a spot. So really focus on those areas too. Now if you want, add some more if you want more shine. Or if you don't even like this much shine, go ahead and wipe it off. I'm okay with this right here. These little ridges, on the tire sometimes, bam, back and forth this way, making sure I get in there. So we have a nice uniform look all the way around. Now there's this little gap right here, so what I'm gonna do is put my finger in there, push it forward a little. Clean that up. Man, 
There you go. Adam's buttery wax. Why? Well, this is great for the paint surface, right? A lot of times people forget that your wheels need protection too. You could use a wheel designated wax, sealant, coating if you'd like, but for a quick, when I'm just doing my normal upkeep washes, this is great. You could just use wax, put a light layer on there and wipe it off, give it that extra protection. Helps prevent brake dust from sticking or road debris. So this will make your normal washes a lot easier. We also included for you the Buff and Shine applicator pad. So just like you would wax your paint, we're gonna wax our rims. I am not, let me repeat, I am not gonna use this on my paint. I'm gonna put this in a baggie and label it wheels only. So, I'm kinda giving you two, two things here. You could use this buttery wax, which works great on the paint, or use it on your wheels, or both. Same thing as I do before. I like to prime my pads, make sure I have all the areas covered with the product. Put one, two little drops on there. This stuff smells amazing. I like to rub that in a little. And go ahead, Just add it to your rims, your wheels. Comment below about that. Actually, I have a question. Rims versus wheels. I always hear people like knock people that say, it's not called a rim, it's called a wheel. Help me understand that a little bit better. Comment below. So on my wheels, I'm just putting a light layer. Let this sit a few minutes. Let it start hazing up. Put it to the side. My products to the side. And then take it off. We included from Auto Fiber, they, their multi-task towel, 300 GSM. It's great, great for wheels. Um, but again, just like that applicator, make sure you designate this for your wheels only. And especially when you wash uh, your towels, you wash these separate from your other towels. We don't want to cross contaminate brake dust into our uh, paint towels or anything like that. Now let's just thoroughly wipe this off. And give my wheels a really good shine here. I know a lot of times people will like to do this first and then do the tire with the uh, tire moisturizer um, because they don't want that those greases and oils on their gloves and then move it to somewhere else. I prefer to do the tires first and then this in case because once I'm done I know I'm gonna maybe get the, the wheel a little bit with the tire moisturizer I have to wipe that off anyways so I'm pretty strategic when putting the the wax or anything on the on the wheels itself and not getting it on the tire so just make sure you get all that clean off and look at that yeah it's great i noticed some some of that tire moisturizer really the 303 is sucking into these tires so i might need to put another layer or two on there just to get a really uniform look but besides that now your wheel wells um, wheels and tires are nice and clean and protected for normal driving use and also it's going to make it a 10 times easier to clean it next time when you do your weekly or however you guys do um, your washes that's it that concludes this episode of detail matters thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up below. And if you have any detailing related questions, comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that alert icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Until next time, happy detailing.